The coral reefs, cities under the sea. Submerged beneath the surface of the ocean is a complex and breathtakingly beautiful world. Underwater ecosystems known as coral reefs are filled with a wide variety of marine species. We are setting out on an adventure to investigate these underwater cities, hoping to learn more about the treasures they hold, the dangers they face, and the worldwide movements that are working to preserve them. Oceans cover most of the Earth's surface, but underneath them is a world full of mystery and wonder. The rainforests of the sea, coral reefs, are teeming cities of life, pulsing with colors and creatures that are so vivid and different that they are hard to imagine. The landscapes shown here are not just underwater. Even though they only cover 1% of the ocean floor, they are home to 25% of all marine species. Living things on this reef depend on each other for survival. From tiny algae to huge sea turtles, everything is interconnected and depends on each other. But these busy cities under the waves face problems that can't be seen. Pollution, climate change, and too much fishing are all things that threaten their very existence. Aside from the reefs themselves, the effects are felt by the billions of people who depend on the ocean for food, income, and even the air we breathe. We are going on an amazing trip today to see these underwater cities. We will go deep into the reefs to learn about their amazing variety of life, the clever ways they've changed to survive in the ocean's depths, and the huge problems they have to deal with as the climate changes. This is not a sad story, though. Scientists, environmentalists, and local communities all over the world are working together to protect and restore these important ecosystems. Their work gives us hope by showing us how to live together with the world's beautiful coral reefs. The journey is full of discoveries, hope, and inspiration. It makes us remember that the beauty below the waves is worth fighting for. Coral Reef Ecosystems Coral reefs, which are the crown jewels of the ocean, are home to an abundance of biodiversity that is unmatched on Earth. Today, we're going to go deep into these underwater cities and look at the complex web of life they support and the important role they play in the marine world. But what makes these ecosystems so alive and varied? Zooxanthellae, which are microscopic algae, and coral polyps work together in a very special way to make a coral reef healthy. The reef works because of this relationship. The algae get the compounds they need for photosynthesis from the corals, which protect them. In exchange, the zooxanthellae give oxygen and nutrients to the corals, which help them grow and form the huge skeletons of calcium carbonate that make up the reef. Coral reefs are not just rocks. They are cities full of living things. Each reef is like a city, with thousands of different species living there. Every living thing on the reef, from the tiniest plankton to the huge sea turtle, is very important to the ecosystem. Parrotfish. Grazing on algae, these colorful fish help keep the corals clean and healthy. Clownfish. Nesting among the venomous tentacles of sea anemones, they contribute to the reef's complex food web. Sea turtles. Feeding on sponges, they help maintain the ecological balance of the reef. All living things depend on each other, and each one helps the reef stay healthy and strong. Not only are these ecosystems rich in biodiversity, they are also important places for many marine species to raise their young, which keeps the oceans alive and bustling with life. Coral reefs are important for many reasons, not just their beauty. They support fisheries that feed billions of people around the world, and are an important part of the marine food web. Reefs protect coastlines from storms and erosion, and the health of these barriers shows how healthy the ocean is overall. From the zooxanthellae that are very small to the reef sharks that patrol the water, everything is linked in a delicate balance. This balance can be upset and the effects can spread to the reef and the whole ocean. As we've seen, coral reefs are more than just pretty sights underwater. They are also very important for marine life and people's ability to make a living. 
Their ability to thrive and stay alive depends on the relationship that helps them grow the huge variety of life they hold and their important part in the marine ecosystem. We are responsible for taking care of the Earth, so it is our duty to keep these ecosystems safe for future generations. Threatened beauty. The wide range of life that lives in coral reefs is a story of beauty, variety, and complex balance. But there is a bigger threat than this story. There is a shadow moving over these underwater cities, dimming their bright colors and threatening their very existence. The oceans are being hit the hardest by the warming of the earth. Coral reefs are going through a crisis called coral bleaching because the sea temperature is rising. When corals are stressed out by the heat, they get rid of the zooxanthellae algae, which means they lose their color and, most importantly, their main source of food. Simultaneously, the excess carbon dioxide in our atmosphere is making the oceans more acidic. This ocean acidification weakens coral skeletons, hindering their growth and making it difficult for many marine species to build shells and survive. But the threats don't end with changing climates. Our oceans are getting choked with pollution, which turns clean water into a toxic mess. Our reefs are under attack from pesticides and fertilizers that run off the land and plastic trash that traps marine life. Every year, millions of tons of plastic end up in the ocean, where it hurts and kills many marine species. On the other hand, runoff that is high in nutrients feeds harmful algae blooms, which lower oxygen levels and make dead zones around coral reefs. Overfishing and other harmful fishing methods are making it harder for coral reefs to keep their balance of life. When vital species are taken away, the food web is broken. This changes the ecosystem in ways that can cause reef systems to collapse. Developing along the coast is also a big problem. Putting up buildings closer to the water can cause sediment to build up and suffocate corals. Also, building often destroys reef habitats directly. Reefs are in a lot of danger, but there are also a lot of ways to protect them. What do you believe are the most important things we can do to save our reefs? Share your thoughts below. These threats affect more than just the reefs. They also affect the many species, including humans, that depend on them for survival. There are medicines that come from coral reefs, and they protect coastlines from storms. Even with these terrible problems, there is still hope. Protecting and restoring coral reefs is becoming more popular all over the world. But these efforts need help, and that help can come from things like changing policies and doing scientific research, as well as from people taking action like using less plastic and choosing seafood that is sustainable. Conservation Efforts As the threats to our coral reefs grow, the fight to save them has inspired people all over the world to come up with new ideas, work together, and be more dedicated. From the deepest parts of the ocean to the middle of communities, come with us as we look at the inspiring work being done to protect and restore coral reefs, which are like cities under the water. The first step towards recovery is restoring coral, which is a process that combines science with nature's strength. One coral at a time, dedicated teams are planting hope in the oceans around the world. Collecting small pieces of healthy coral, growing them in nurseries, and then moving them back to reefs that have been damaged is called coral gardening. This method not only speeds up the growth process, but it also makes coral populations more genetically diverse, which makes them stronger against future stresses. Conservationists are getting creative with artificial reefs in addition to traditional gardening. From sculptures that have sunk to ships that have been taken out of service, these structures give coral polyps and other marine life new places to live, creating ecosystems where there were none before. Want to know what it's like to grow a coral? Come with us on a virtual dive into a coral nursery. This is where reef restoration starts to take shape. The importance of protection is equal to that of restoration. People aren't allowed to do much in marine protected areas or MPAs. This lets reefs 
heal and grow, as said nature can heal itself when given time. MPAs have been shown to help protect biodiversity and keep fisheries going in the long term. By limiting activities like building along the coast and fishing, these areas help ecosystems recover, which boosts fish populations and coral health both inside and outside of their borders. At the heart of reef conservation are the communities that live alongside these ecosystems. Empowering local populations is key to sustainable protection efforts. From beach cleanups to reef monitoring programs, communities are taking the lead in preserving their marine heritage. In the Philippines, for example, local villagers are trained as reef guardians, patrolling and protecting their reefs from illegal fishing and pollution. Conservation efforts also focus on creating sustainable livelihoods that coexist with healthy reefs. Ecotourism, for instance, offers an alternative income, promoting the beauty of the reefs while emphasizing the importance of preserving them. Do these stories of hope and action move you to act? It doesn't matter where you live. There are many things you can do to help protect coral reefs. Every action matters, like adopting a coral, using less plastic, or choosing seafood that is good for the environment. The way we're working to restore and protect our coral reefs shows what we can do when we all work together for the same goal. These underwater cities are full of life and are very important to our survival and the survival of all living things on Earth. As our trip under the water comes to a close, it's clear that coral reefs are more than just beautiful scenery. They are the ocean's beating heart, a vital hub for marine life, and a living example of how beautiful and strong nature is. During our journey, we have seen the amazing variety of life that coral reefs support, as well as the huge problems they have to deal with and the inspiring work being done around the world to protect and restore these important ecosystems. Together, these efforts give coral reefs and the ocean a beacon of hope. There are innovative coral restoration projects that bring life back to damaged reefs, marine protected areas that protect the future of biodiversity, and community-led initiatives that encourage stewardship and long-term ways to make a living. Coral reefs, these seaside cities, depend on us as much as we do on them. By working together, adopting sustainable practices and supporting conservation, we can keep these underwater cities alive and beautiful for generations to come. Subscribe to hear more environmental success stories and find out how you can help make the world a better place.